Hi, Nikolai here again. So, made that long video with Anish where we were playing at uh, 3 o'clock in the morning against my friend in Australia and just can't go to sleep. So, let's play a few more games. So, let's focus on some stuff we skipped. Uh, see that, pine uh, that elephant? This is a game called Deuce to Seven in the Middle. So, it's played just like Pineapple, which you've seen, but the difference is you're making a low hand in the middle. So, if you know deuce to seven low ball or just a draw low ball, you'll know what that means. If not, sort of uh, pretty easy to figure out. Basically, what you're doing is you want to make a hand like that in the middle. Like, no pairs, no straights, no flushes, as low as possible. And, in fact, to make the game extra challenging, you need to be making uh, a ten or better low in the middle. So, I just put right now they're the best possible low I can make. Now... In this hand, uh, to get more points, I'm actually gonna go, gonna go ahead and make a worse low than I could. I'm gonna make a ten low because that still qualifies to get the kings on top bonus. So we'll get to the strategy in a second. Just showing sort of the mechanics of the game. It's actually easy to do with fancy land. So go ahead, and the hands get scored as it would in regular pineapple. I get eight points for the kings up top. No other bonuses. Um, I lose the other two rows. Break even. Play another round. So, oh, here's another game with the elephant. Um, and and let me know if it's still hard to tell the difference between the pineapple and deuce the seven games. I mean, most people seem to think that with the sort of the changes in the middle and with that red stripe I put in, it's pretty clear. But you know, some people think it's still a bit complicated. So here, as you can see, um, the hand's played a little differently. 8-5 is obviously the card, I'm, the hand I'm going for low. I can make an 8 low, which is a nice hand. Um, the difference here is because only my bottom hand has to beat the top. All I need is two pair trips or a flush to be on the bottom to be able to play aces up top. So since aces takes you to fantasy land, I'm going to do that. Uh, Queens does not. Okay, so this hand is another one I'm going to play for Fantasyland. I could think about putting the 10 in the middle, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to hope I get a lot of low cards. It's very likely I won't, because my opponent has a bunch of them. But see what happens. I'm going for upside. We're going to catch a king or an ace almost for sure. And like I just said, you need a kings or aces on top or trips to go to Fantasyland. Um... Queens will not do it for you. Made it a little bit harder in this game. In general, because you can generally make better hands. And also, uh, you can see this in a second, but if you make the best possible low hand, which is a wheel, a 2, 3, 4, 5, 7 in the middle, that'll also take you to fantasy land, which my opponent has a chance for. Alright, let's skip this. Some of these games. Get to a... Uh... Yep. Get back to another... Uh... Deuce to seven game. Unfortunately, now there's no ability I put into the game to make it possible to navigate directly and just keep to those games. But you know, it's just not really a necessary feature. It would be nice here. In general, it doesn't matter. So actually, I'm going to make this move. I have no idea whether this is the right move, but the reason for it is one, I want to make that flush. Two, I really want to pair that aces and have something working on the bottom. But by not playing the six, I leave the possibility of making the wheel in the middle and going to fantasy land. So, not sure this is the right move, but this is the greediest move. So I'm going to do it. We can play a little, a little deuce to seven against the computer real quick, just to sort of see a hand play out. So here, I'm going for, I'm giving up. Basically, the strategy revolves around going for fantasy land, same as somewhere else. But you know, the difference is that the bonus is for non-fantasy land hands are a little bit bigger. So here, my goal is, I'm not gonna go to fantasy land by making a, I'm, I'm not gonna make a, a wheel in the middle. So the best way for me to do it is to make kings up top. So as you can see, I'm working towards that goal. And I missed, but I had a shot. And, you know, the strategy I've pursued so far, and again, I get crushed because my phone has a great hand. In fancy land, but the strategy is basically choose which hand to go for 
and see if you can make something decent along the way if you have to give up. So here again, I'm not going to make fantasy land in the middle. So just make sure I make some sort of low so I don't foul. But otherwise, all I'm trying to do is catch a big pair of top. Not doing a great job so far. And my opponent already fouled. Um, Dr. ABC definitely plays this game suboptimally. Makes a lot of mistakes. Um, you know, in the future AIs that'll improve by... You know, remember that this is an AI that that I built for Pineapple and then sort of made tweaks, a lot of game-specific tweaks to let it play deuce pretty well, but it hasn't gotten this sort of comprehensive retraining that would lead to, um, you know, really, really good play. We'll get to that eventually, especially if people like the game. I mean, uh, a lot of people like it, but it's still sort of a bit of a niche kind of game, so, you know, it's a bit of a chicken and egg thing. Most people are playing Pineapple and loving it. It's a great game. There's no reason to switch or to even add another game to your arsenal. On the other hand, this is awesome. But if people are not playing it, it's hard to make improvements. If we don't make improvements, it's hard for people to discover how cool the game is. So, you know, that's another bridge that we're hoping to gap, bridge, uh, a gap that we're trying to bridge with some of these videos, is maybe to let you explore the game and get some examples and ask some questions. Um, and as you can see, <laughs> Dr. ABC is crushing me in this match, and I'm not trying to lose. I'm trying to play my best. It's just, um, even though he makes obvious mistakes, I make what I imagine are also obvious mistakes. Like here, I have no idea whether to play the ace in the top or the bottom. I think it's the bottom, just because it's a lot easier to qualify by playing a king up top and not really risking any foul risk. But maybe it's the top. I don't know. You know, you have to you have to study the problem. And here it looks like I made the right choice so far. But we'll find out. Alright, well, even here I don't know if it's the right choice because on the one hand I have my aces made and I'm free rolling. On the other hand, maybe I should have played my hand totally different and gambled and had something like aces at the top, a pair in the bottom, and I'm still making my low. You know, it's gonna depend on whether I catch my king, so yeah, I mean, this doesn't even help me. But, did I get the king? I did not. So, you know, definitely could have had trip fives in the uh, two pair in the bottom. Okay, let's see if I, any of my opponents move back in the deuce games. So, not yet. Um, the move's pending, but just not in deuce at the moment. Play one more hand. Ugh. So, yep, here, definitely going for the ace of top. Notice I can't make a five here. Can't do that move, but unfortunately it doesn't matter. So, looks like I'll be going to fantasy land here, most likely. Yep, all I need is an ace. Presumably they're all live. And there it is. Yeah, that's, that's sort of um, something I still don't know the numbers on, but you get a feel for after a while. Sort of the cases where you're very likely to make something. You know, it's very easy in this game to be 80% to make something that you haven't made yet. And it sure felt that way that time. So, yeah, though. So here in Deuce, I always start by making my low hand and adjusting it. Because uh, you need to make that 10 lower better for your hand to qualify at all. And here you can see what I'm left with is either a straight and nothing up top, or two pair and queens up top. And I'm gonna play the two pair. More points for the queen. And besides, you know, given the circumstances, wow, I would have played the opponent's hand, the AI's hand very differently, and yet he still made fantasy and I made a nice hand. So it's a show. Should be okay. Yeah, this looks like a weird set, but I'm not worried about the flush. I just want to go to fast land. I'm on tilt. <laughs> Alright, so that's not a bad draw. Not bad at all. All I need is a spade. 
There it is. Vanish down here we go. All right, well, hopefully that's an interesting introduction to uh, Deuce to Seven in the middle. Um, it would be definitely nice to get some more player games in there next time. And let us know what you think. Check out the game. It's available uh, in the app.